So we created a policy statement for the American Academy of Pediatrics that talks about how do you talk about substance use in the context of providing care for children, adolescents, and family. And so with this policy statement, we talk about why this is an important area. Um, and that's really because historically substance use has been viewed as a moral failing. And there's a lot of really stigmatizing judgmental language that's used to talk about substance use. I'll also add that it's very much tied in with systemic racism. And a lot of this language has been used by people in power to further marginalize populations of, of individuals and blame and shame people for using substances. And research has shown that when we use, we in you know, the medical profession use stigmatizing language like abuser or addict to talk about substance use, we actually provide worse care for patients. And so in the first step towards making a more welcoming medical community for individuals affected by substance use and actually providing better medical care to them is changing the language that we use to talk about this. So our goal with this statement is to show examples of what are good, medically accurate, you know, non-stigmatizing language that we can use to talk about substance use and people that use substances rather than using you know, shameful, blaming sort of language that conveys this sense of moral failure. And so we have a table that gives examples of good words to use, the stigmatizing words that, you know, shouldn't be used, and rationales and explanations for, you know, why, for example, person-first language is preferred um, over other sorts of terms. step in reducing stigma, I think, is just to change the way that we talk about substance use. And so rather than using stigmatizing words that are derogatory and show that we are blaming people or we think certain people are bad or not worthy of treatment, instead, if we shift our language to just talk about it like any other disorder, it shows that it's, you know, a disorder that people can come to doctors and talk about and receive treatment and be heard and, and not judged for what they're experiencing. And so if we can change our language so that patients recognize that this is just like any other disorder that we want to, you know, understand what's going in their lives and help them and get the most, most effective treatment for them, um, then we can then have a medical community that's able to provide care for better for people who use substances. So when we're talking about substance use, we want to use medically accurate language. So previously, the definition for substance use was really either drug abuse or dependence. But those are outdated terms that have now been replaced in the DSM-5 with substance use disorder that can be mild, moderate, or severe. And so when we're talking about substance use and substance use disorders, really using the accurate terminology now um, is important. Similarly, we also want to be using person-first language that conveys that people are first people and not defined just by one characteristic, such as their substance use. Um, so using terms like a person who uses drugs or a baby born exposed to opioids, that shows that we're first paying attention to them as a human and a person, and then secondarily, the substance use. And all of this together creates just a more welcoming environment and just neutral terminology that's not conveying either good or bad um, in relation to substance use. Another common thing that comes up in, inadvertently is people talking about toxicology screening for, for substances. And people have a habit of referring to you know, a dirty test or a clean one. And that really shows some sort of good or bad moral judgment that we're assigning to you know, whether a person is using substances or not. So it's most clear to actually just say the test was negative or the test was positive for XYZ substance when talking about the results of these tests rather than assigning some sort of blame um, or clean or, or dirty.